All right, let me just say this, okay? Let me get it out, out onto the open here. I'm not going to look at my... I am tired of holding a phone, um, but it's the best way to do this. So let's, um, let's just say this. Um, for over 48 hours, I have been trapped in my room Unable, no, it's been longer than that. But let me say this though. I'm struggling because I have to plug and there's muffler after muffler. I'll get to that. Since yesterday, it has been so fucking dangerous that yesterday and the day before that, I was only able to come out of my room one time. Today was exactly the same, except the war heroes were, the war heroes made it possible for me. To get to the floor one and what the world saw was when I went to floor one to get the groceries, they poisoned me with chemical weapons and the whole place was lit with bombs. Yesterday, the whole place was lit with bombs. It was the same bomb and it was in the hallway. Um, but I was forbidden from talking about it. Okay, so the mufflers and the whatever the fuck else it is, is so overwhelming then I'm gonna go ahead and just plug my ears. It's honestly easier here. So let's just do this and it's a lot more comfortable for me. Besides the fact that I'm holding both of my ears closed with my hands. This is not comfortable, but it's better than what you saw on the phone video. Okay, so I have been poisoned, and every time I write that I am poisoned, about 95% of those times, it's 95, it is not 90, it is 95% of those times that I write that I'm being chemical weapons poisoned, I have to shit my brains out. And at 8.44, Eight forty two PM January thirtieth, twenty twenty three. I was just chemically weapons poisoned again and had to shit my brains out. And I have to go into my room like I have written and do the whole baby wipes and toilet paper and mopping and everything sanitized, but this is what I have to do. Because it's so deadly and I can't leave the room. I am literally throwing all of my waste out the window. That's number ones and number twos. It's all going out the window. It's been absolutely the biggest commandment that I've had since they were here in the yard. The two Saudi Arabian agents, the one guy in the basement is a Saudi Arabian agent. More or less, he's pretty retarded, but you'll understand when I can finally explain this some other day. And I already said that that male who comes and delivers the oil, he's fully on some sort of fucking watch list. So um, no one's wondering that that guy. And what was that with his arms, th throwing his arms around? The uh, Muslim, violent Muslim terrorists all do that. That jumping jack stuff, they all do that. He did it on video. And this is what the war heroes have been capturing, arresting, and killing on S Street for years, is Muslim terrorists out of fucking Middle East. They all come here and they, they are harbored and have a sanctuary here. But I need to get to the point here. So it's been so fucking deadly. This is day three that I can't come out. I can't come out to flush the toilet. So this t last time that I was poisoned, I went in there. I was safe to go in there. The war heroes are really good, and they've got me so I can at least go in there to go to the bathroom. 
and I race into the extra room where there's no poison being pumped into it. And as every time I hear somebody creeping tiptoes over my head. And this time, I don't know who it is. It could be the killers here for these people. And you have these fucking psychos that decided to stay encamped on S Street. Or it could be one of these psychos who is encamped on S Street and been given a, a smorgasbord of Russian-made and U.S. Navy-made uh, very illegal chemical weapons that are poison and gas and vapors and stuff. And they, they used it to me, on me in the bathroom today when I was in the bathtub. They, they, they've given these absolute fucking crazy people these kind of weapons. And that's what I meant by Vladimir Putin certainly knew that he's playing everybody like a puppy here. I mean, he knows when he's doing that, when he's giving these kind of... Uh, I'm speaking for Russia, but I can't. I, I, I have a little bit of my feet in the game here. I can say this and they wouldn't be uh, mad at me. Okay, so... And anyone can understand the logic to this. Your country's making chemical weapons. Your country's prime minister or president is giving another country's citizens your country's chemical weapons. Exactly. Now, you can see the logic in that. Okay, so I can speak on that. It's a big problem. And when, chemi when Putin did that and gave these domestic terrorists his Russian chemical weapons in front of the fucking GRU who was already here, he knew that this better work out for him because now he's really fucking dead. Now he's really fucking dead. He's dead by the Navy SEALs and by the GRU because there are U.S. veterans that have been saving my life along with the GRU from day one. Okay? Which was on my account, Navy SEALs and GRU. <sighs> yeah, so um, I just, I'm grateful to say it that everything is going out the window and it's so fucking gross. It makes me cringe how I live that now my human waste is just going out my back window into the backyard. But they have trapped me for so many days. That is absolutely not up for discussion. You are not stepping foot out that door. You will end up like all these other people dead as a door now if you do that. And I got completely hit with chemical weapons at 8 o'clock at night, 8.30 or something. I just reported the time. And I had to go shit my fucking brains out. And there's no way I can go out there and flush it down the toilet. There's no way. So it just goes right out the window. And that's what I got to do, folks. And then these people party in the Capitol. They party two doors down in that backyard. And they party uh, walking up the street on 15th. And as I just got poisoned, shit my brains out from some sort of chemical weapon, either U.S. Navy or Russian chemical weapon, heard one circling over my head and all this fucking horrifying shit. And then I, I dump all my waste out the window. As soon as I did that and I closed my window and I was in, the, my, I was in my extra room, so I'm way in the house now. And I'm cleaning the, sanitizing the bowl in here. I can do that basically pretty good in here. And everything's fucking clean in my area. No, no bio waste. There's no bio waste. There's no n nasty sitting around contained like I had it before. No, I'm glad about that. It's just going right out the window. Because they were trapping me before where I had to seal it off. And then, oh God, do you know what I've been through here? Just to be a civilized person, I would still take it to the toilet. But it got so fucking bad, I can't even take it to the toilet to flush it down the sewer system. It is so fucking bad and dangerous. They'll just t take me out and kill me as soon as I open the door. And it was confirmed with the way I heard them moving around over my head. They knew I was poisoned. They knew I was in there shitting my brains out. And they were waiting for me to go out the door. And I said that before. Okay, and this, I hadn't said it. I kept on saying... I, I've been saying I was in the bathroom the last couple of days. The, yesterday, I know I did it. I deceived the public. But I couldn't tell the public that I was trapped in my room. I kept on saying in statement, I kept on saying, I can't make statements about my situation. Well, I can now. And it's still ongoing, but it's getting at least this much better where I can say that for three days, I have not been able to go out of my room except one time a day. 
And you can see what happened with the two times I left today. The second time, all the terrorists came out. And all this crazy shit happened and the poisoning and everything I said. And I filmed. And then I was poisoned the first time just by even getting onto floor one. And I smelled dead bodies. And the house is lit up with bombs. The hot bombs. The explosive weapons. Yep. Now, and now the world knows that it's coming up from my floor, the explosive weapon. I've been sleeping with a bomb under my bed that's hard for me to fall asleep because it smells so bad for over two days. But I couldn't say a word. And I couldn't say a word when I first smelled the bomb, which was, the, which was yesterday. And yesterday was another day, like I just said, that I had to just throw everything out the window. So today, when I went back in at 8 something at night, 8.40, and I'm sanitizing and mopping and all that, I hear, well, this was about a minute, a minute, yeah, about a minute after throwing it out the window from being trapped, hostage, poisoned, all these attempts on your life. I hear more shrieking, laughing, Washington, D.C. domestic terrorist population. I hear them charging up 15th street like they do and it was this man going ha 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 he was laughing so loud it was uh unbelievable laughter this man he was it sounded white to me and then there was a woman that was just shrieking laughing and then another woman about a minute later and this is way in my house i'm hearing like these people here dude these people in Washington, D.C. are literally doing this to somebody in their house and then walking by and fucking billowing, shrieking in laughter. They celebrate this. Okay, I'm going to put back up the old news headline about how this chemical weapons compound on S Street is intending to kill 31,000 people with law enforcement. I want you to remember what I said about the shrieking laughter and how they celebrate that. I want you to remember why what happens to D.C. and the United States happened. Okay, because these military war heroes are not, not busting the terrorist cell. I've been freaking out. And everybody who knows me knows I do that. It's not positive. It's not, you don't want to aspire to not be able to handle your emotions. No, I wish I could have been really cool and calm the whole time, but I wasn't. And I've been freaking out. Okay. And I've been demanding this terrorist cell be shut down, but I don't know how else to cope with this because I've been locked in my room, throwing everything out the back window. If I leave, it's a, it's a, a, it's it's like a inferno. We've we're at level eight, level nine, fucking chemical explosive hot bomb. The stench. It's under my bed. It's everywhere. Not really everywhere, but certain spots. And I wasn't allowed to say it. So no, there's no way that this isn't going to be handled by the military. Okay. We, please don't think that it's not. And when they do handle it. Is going to be devastating for this city of D.C., but no one's going to wonder why. All right. Goodbye.